of DFW Junk Ice Junk Removal Service. I'm here with Jacob. Uh, Jacob, I'm here in Dallas in a secret... Actually, his place is badass. <laughs> and he actually lives here. It's really, really cool on the inside. Uh, Jacob, we removed a uh, sectional cap for you, man. Yep, my sectional. I'm moving out of here and uh, turning into offices, so the sectional had to go. There you go, guys. So, you know, that's what we do, guys. We come to people's houses. We charge him about $140. He had two sectionals, some cabinets and stuff like that. Not far from the headquarters up in Frisco, Texas, guys. But I'm going to tell you something. We get the job done. Give us a call at dfwjunkguys.com or give me a call at 214-777-3095 and I will see you later. I gotta go to the next job. Bye-bye. Wake up in the morning and I raise my weary hair. Not alone the more the cowboy and the ground was last night bare. Okay, you, I definitely don't know the words to that song. Whoa, shit, I almost ran a red light. It is Ricardo, it is Saturday morning, Saturday morning. I dropped this. There is no Diego today. Check this out, no Diego. No Diego, look at this. By myself, by myself. I have four jobs on the schedule. I've called my boy Montel to help me out. No response by Montel, no response at all. Uh, I don't know if he's coming out to help me, uh, but I did injure my knee. Uh, so I, let's well, let's talk about that. So this morning I was getting out of my uh, my my truck and I had my brace on and I slipped. My tr my foot fell. My, I was in the trailer, half my foot, and I slipped. And man, I felt a nice little electric shock to my knee. And now I'm going to do a junk removal. So it really sucks because it's really it hurts. It hurts a lot. Anyway, uh, what I'm telling y'all guys is that I'm heading over. I'm going to clean up some junk in Colleyville, Texas. I'm only eight minutes away. Uh, but, like I said, I'm only a few minutes away from this job. And then uh, let's get her done. See you in a few minutes, guys. Another 12-yard dumpster delivery. Oh, yeah, here it is. Guys, I'm in uh, Colleyville, Texas. And I'm actually uh, gonna drop this 12 yard dumpster right here on the property, but let me show you some of the trash they got, okay? Holy cow. Holy cow, now just to let y'all know, FYI, <laughs> this is. That trash is not gonna fit into this dumpster. You can usually tell by just eyeballing it. Uh, but check out this neighborhood I'm in. Woo, it's a nice house. So what they're doing is remodeling their house. They decided to remodel it in the summer and uh, they never finished it. So now they've called me out to drop a dumpster off. But this is the kind of work we do, guys. Um, you know, I wanted to kind of do a video on just talking about the 12 yard dumpster. If it's economically okay for you know, junk removal. If it's something you need in junk removal, is it something customers have been asking for? Will it economically make you money? That's the real big question. Will a 12 year dumpster uh, make y'all any money? Well, just to let y'all know, I've had mine for eight years. That dumpster has been in the family for eight years. Yeah. And it's got a little rust on the bottom right there, but uh, it's managed. It has managed. So um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop it off really quick and then we'll talk about the 12 yard dumpster and just see if it's something y'all wanna do. This is called sliding it off the truck and trailer. I'm just gonna pull forward. So uh, watch this. Woo. Yeah, I put it down on the ground, guys. So it's here now. You know, a lot of people. Uh, want information about the 12 yard dumpster and I tell these people you know if you have the money I think it's a great investment but there are some things about a 12 yard dumpster that you definitely need to know before you get something like this okay and the biggest thing is can you reverse it and put it in driveways okay so uh, I was one of 
of the things that me and Brandon had talked about, and Brandon is uh, drop and go dumpsters up in Tennessee. He bought one after talking to me. Um, and I told him, listen, if you can't reverse a trailer, a normal trailer, you can't reverse a dump trailer because this is actually a gooseneck. Let me show you really quick, guys. And this is the things about you need to know about these two. That is called a gooseneck. And it's goose because the neck is long. See what I mean? So there it is. And that is the dumpster trailer right there. And that's the dumpster. So usually when you buy the dumpster, you get five of them for the complete set for about 20, 26,000, 25,000, somewhere around there. I get a bit of discount, okay? So I own three of these, okay? But here's the problem. Before you go buying something like this, you definitely need the clientele. That's a big, big deal. If you don't have the clientele, don't bother. And when I say that, I mean, if you're posting on Craigslist and you think you're gonna be able to blow these things out, that's not gonna work. You definitely need to be settled having some kind of removal business. You have to at least have be in the remodeling business and the construction business and have a use for them in case they're not getting rented out. Because if you just drop $25,000 on something and don't have any business, you're screwed. But that's the least of your problems. Do you actually have a property you could place these things on? Because see guys, uh, look how much room this thing takes. It's from here all the way to the end of the street. It's taking up a lot of room. So now imagine having five of those. Cause see, you're not gonna make money with one. That's just not possible. What are you just gonna post once every month on Craigslist and think you're gonna rent these things out? It doesn't work like this. I know people who have bought this in our area and thought they were gonna make it on Craigslist cause they saw me doing it. See, the thing about it, I have the advantage. I've been here longer. I have business for clientele. I, I have that customer, that normal customer that's always calling me to do junk removals. So if I'm not renting them out, I'm using them for junk removal. But the whole point about it is to rent them out and make money off of them. So don't think you're gonna jump in this business, post on Craigslist and just make money, guys. It just doesn't work like this. Have a clientele, have some kind of, some sort of business that can complement this. That way when you're not dropping dumpsters, you're using them for your remodeling business, your construction business, your maybe estate sale business. You're using them for something like that because I'm gonna tell you, they will be sitting on your lot that of course you don't have because these things take up a lot of room. Check this out, okay? Imagine having five of these and owning a lot. You need more than one. You definitely need more than two. Guys, people say, hey, can I do it with three? I guess you can, but are you really gonna rent them out? I mean, most of the time, like on a weekend, let's pretend when the landfill's closed. What are you gonna do? They're filled up already, you can't dump them. I mean, you're in a situation where you're kind of screwed. If you have the room, if you have the alternate business already, um, then I guess it's something you can do. Don't get into $25,000 of debt and have five of these, five of these sitting at a storage unit facility. And let's talk about storage units. Here's a big one for you. Up in Frisco, uh, they don't allow you to keep five of these on parking spots at storage units. You just can't leave them anywhere, especially with trash in them. You know, I, I guess the real question that everybody wants to know is, Am I making extra money? Well, of course I'm making extra money. I have dumpsters to offer, but that's what differentiates me from like Junk King and 1-800-Junk and Clutter Bros and just anybody that's really out there. I have a trailer, I have a 12 yard dumpster I can drop off and a six yard dumpster. So I do more things, guys. You know, yes, am I renting them out? Yes, I'm renting them out, but I've been here for eight years and I've been doing the dumpsters for seven. So ask yourself, if I buy this whole setup for $25,000, do I first have the clientele? Am I in a business where I'm gonna use this, you know? And do I have the room to put it somewhere? That's the real question to ask. Other than that, it's a good investment. Oh, and don't forget, do you know how to reverse and actually drive these things? Yeah, they're a bit dangerous. You know, the last thing is, I don't wanna discourage people from you know, following their dreams and owning a dumpster company and owning a great junk removal service. That's the last thing I want to do. Because see, ultimately, you're going to do what you want to do. If you're going to buy this, you're going to buy this. And if you're going to get stuck with them, you're going to get stuck with them. If you're going to succeed, then throw it back in my face. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video with showing y'all just a bit of the dumpster. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's about 110 degrees outside. That's why I'm sweating so much. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe over to the right side. And on the left side, check out my other videos. But for right now, I gotta go, it's too damn hot.